Ladies and gentlemen, you are back with Caught the Red Barrel, and this is Matt with another fascinating instalment of Car Mechanic Simulator. So let's get right on in and see where we got up to. Um, it's been a while, um, at least a while, so I've got no idea where we are actually, uh, where we're actually at. Um, but I mean, we've got to be kind of sort of, you know, getting towards um, the uh, the end part of. Uh, you know, this <coughs> low budget garage that we're working in, I'd imagine. I mean, I don't know. I've never actually played it enough to get out of it, so uh, I guess we're going to find out. So, um, we finished this horrendous pink number, um, so let's go right on to the next order and see what we got. Hope everyone's well. It is Monday afternoon, quarter to three to be exact. Um, and I am um, off work today. Um, it's the day after EGX, which was hype as fuck. Um, really enjoyed it. So, um, yes, just letting my uh, voice and <laughs> body recover from uh, from all of that excitement. So, um, Revton win. Never remember hearing about one of those before. Find and eliminate the problem. So, we have mystery issue to deal with with this car. So... Um, first and foremost, let's whiz it out on the test track uh, and see what that dredges up in terms of um, problems, noticeable problems. second very well um, I'd suggest you know on first you know on first on the you know the most noticeable thing to me is that it's it tends to the, the, the revs stutter a little bit when uh, when going from first to second so possibly a gearbox problem um, but let's have a look and see what we've got on the OBD um, I mean none of this means anything to me but I, I think it has an impact on like kind of you know problem detection Yeah, none of those numbers mean anything to me. It would probably help if I actually figured that out, um, <laughs> I guess. Um, okay, so... Let's, um, so we'll have a look at the, the engine here. Hide show park conditions. Yeah, see? It's got the, like the drive shaft or the drive axle or something to do, something like that is showing up... Um, showing up red here so as we can see that's 11 percent um drive axle left and drive axle right are both um red parts so i think we can assume from um you know our uh, our test drive there that that is the problem and it would kind of back up our prognosis that it's something to do with the gearbox stroke sort of drive system um so presumably Hopefully, if we just take it apart like so and put the, put new drive axles on, um, that should fix the problem. Um, I hope. I'd rather not have to take the gearbox apart if it's all possible. Um, but then it could well be you know, a case of having to take the gearbox apart because um, this might not just be the only issue. But um, we'll try this um, first. Seventy-seven. So I would wager that it's just the drive axles are in are in poor condition. Um, we can't repair it, so we need a drive axle left and a drive axle right from the shop. What will you stand to make out of this job? Fourteen hundred. So uh, car park shop drive axle. Where are you? Drive axle left. Four hundred. And why is it cheap? Why is it cheaper for a right-sided one? Are they diff actually different? They look a bit different, don't they? 
So the right is a bit cheaper. So what are we going to make out of that then? Mm. Yeah, we're going to make some coin. Our coin purse will swell as a result of this particular job. Um, so I'll slot that on. Do that up. And the other side. Slot that on. Tighten up the nuts. Fingers crossed. Um, that is it, and we don't have to faff around with the gearbox because I guess we're going to find out very shortly when we go to click the repair order, and um, it will say, "Oh, you still haven't repaired the car." We'll have to come back all up here all and do this again. <laughs> but uh, hopefully not. Not that I want to rush through it or anything, you know. Just uh, you know, find and eliminate the problems. Pretty vague, um, but you know, we follow due diligence. Took it on the test track, did the OBD scan, so. Yep, eliminate the problem, repair. So that is one in the bag in record time. So, yeah, happy days, happy with that. What have we got next? Check the exhaust. I hit something hard on a bumpy road and I assume that it broke one of the exhaust pipes. Examine it, please. Okay. Pretty uh, sound straightforward, isn't it? Um, at this stage, is it going to be that straightforward? That's the question. So something hard on a bumpy road. We can kind of see just from a quick visual inspection that that looks mm, poor. Looks in poor nick. So um, to get anything off the exhaust we have to um, more or less take every sequential piece off so we might as well just start off with that now. Condition unknown. Let's have a quick look at it. Oh, that's fine. Um, the rear muffler is uh, no problems. So let's have that off. Yeah, that looks alright to me. It will tell me anyway when I put it in my inventory what condition it's in. 95%. 95 uh, 95% muffler middle. This looks like the part where uh, it's going to be in particularly... This looks like the problem to me. Um, 22%. So... That's probably it. Um, I'll just examine the part, the condition of this one. 95. So it's that middle part um, of the exhaust, essentially, that's uh, that's obviously out of bang due to this person driving it um, like a lunatic. So we just need to replace it, really. Um, whoops. Keep clicking off the screen. I'm using two screens here, so sometimes I click off the screen and the whole game freezes, but it's not my computer, it's just me being uh, heavy handed. So exhaust pipe. Source pipe middle, yeah. Hundred dollars. What's I'll take for this? Two hundred dollars. Wow. Breaking the damn bank, man. Big hundred dollar job. So, um, we want to go into assemble mode. Put this on. God, they're a bit small, aren't they? When I used to play this, I played it. Used to play it on the wireless keyboard with like a rollerball mouse. And it was a mission to do things like that, like screening really small screws, like getting the mouse just over it was <laughs> a proper mish. So I'm glad now I'm just sat at a desktop and just um, you know, doing it the way it was intended to be played. Because, um, yeah, that was fiddly as hell. So I am of the opinion, my professional mechanical opinion, is that once we've screwed this on, um, that should be the job complete. Um, check the exhaust. Big bash bosh. Done. We'll get another one in if we can. Find and eliminate the cause. The faster I drive, the louder this horrible noise gets. I get also notice that the dashboard lights are getting dimmer. Okay. Battery. Let's do um, let's do our due diligence, shall we? So we will check the OBD. Um, 
see if this sheds any light on anything when we look at the parts condition. With the little that I do know about cars, I would tender the opinion that this is one of two things, or possibly both. Um, the battery, um, if the dashboard lights are getting dim, um, there's potential that the battery is uh, on the way out. 94%, uh, that looks fine. Um, but the alternator is 13%, as we can see here. The alternator has got something to do with power conversion, if I'm not mistaken. Again, comment, uh, I'm sure many of you or anybody who's watching it will, will enjoy telling me if I'm wrong. <laughs> and I feel like I might be wrong, but I, I think I'm on the right lines in the fact that the alternator is probably the issue here. Um, and as that has been reinforced by the fact that you know, this is 13% and therefore um, it's probably the, the part in the worst condition on the car. So, as I recall, we can fix an alternator, can we? Yes, we can. Um, how much is the new? Well, let's, let's try. Fixed it for 216. If worst, worst comes to the worst, we can always repair it. Uh, sorry, sell it. Um, if that's not done, the biz. So, um, so, we'll get back in here, go into assemble mode. Uh, freshly, look at that, we've been clean. Clean and fixed and ready to go. So, we'll put our serving on belt back on. And I make that the job done. Um, so unless I've missed something, or I was wrong altogether, finally eliminate the cause, another job complete. So, um, go, on, go on then, let's have another one. They've all been reasonably straightforward so far, so let's see if we can find something challenging. So, um, that's good. We've only done 11 minutes, so we've got time, we've got time. What's next? Find the solution. Cool, they're getting very vague, aren't they? Right. I can barely afford a car, but I've managed to buy myself one. It doesn't start, though. Help me, please. I've only got $300 left, and I need it working before I can show it to my parents. So, they're going to pay us $300 to get this heap of shit moving, um, basically. It's quite nice for... I wonder what that was, then. It's sort of moving along the bonnet. I thought, what's that? And it's like these little like dust mites in the air. That's a nice touch, isn't it? Anyway... Back to the job at hand. So, the car doesn't start, right? So, we can... Oh, my God. Look at the state of this. Looks bloody dreadful. 48% um, in the battery, so that's okay. The starter. What sort of nick is the starter in? By the way, sorry if you can hear any clanking going on in the background. There's, like, some um, bit of people in my neighbours are doing something. I don't know what. And some work going on in one of the adjacent apartments. So if you can hear that and it's coming through on the recording, I do apologise. Um, let's take the starter off because the starter is the first place to look. When somebody says, "Oh, it's not starting." So 36% on the starter. Will if we repair that? $63. Yes. Will it now start if we put that back on? I mean, 36% wouldn't really suggest to me that like the car wouldn't start it just means it's a bit knackered um, which kind of worries me a little bit like what what is the um, you know what else could it possibly be um, right so it's not that <laughs> so we still haven't, we haven't completed the job because the car won't start so but but us just have a look at that. Um, it doesn't start though. Help is over three hundred dollars. So we've already spent two hundred dollars on fixing the freaking starter. So that's been a bit of a waste of money, hasn't it? Car doesn't start. What else? I mean, the battery's okay. As far as I'm, right, it's okay enough for me to be. It's okay enough for me to to be um, you know, especially when we're only getting paid three hundred dollars and not replacing the damn battery. Um, let's try this, see if it gives us any insight. I'm pretty sure those figures are always the same. 25, 60, 700%. I'm pretty sure. Okay, so, that's that done. And then we'll go to high show park conditions. Battery's okay. 
hole tonight is 49. So again, you know, like kind of oh, ignition. Ah, oh, here we go. Right. Okay. Um, we might have just poured money down the toilet, really, in terms of fixing um, fixing that uh, starter because um, it looks like this is the problem. Um, take the oil cover off. It looks like the ignition wires are the issue um, for me. Seven percent. Uh, dreadful so we won't be able to repair them so let's go on and see if we can what's in use ignition wires i mean now we've we've, we've wasted that money so that's gone we, if we break even we'll be doing all right um 68 dollars for some used ones no point risking it we've already wasted money um Sometimes you've got to spend money to make money, right? So we are going to lose money on this job, unfortunately. Um, but it'll do, I guess. Let's just get the job done and out of the way. So, uh, go into assemble mode. Turn the ignition wires, stick them on. Put our plastic engine cover back on. Now, I feel that that should be done. It's still not done. What the hell? Okay. Um... check I guess minimum, minimum. oh so it's below the minimum with oil so we need to put some oil in it um, that's another one um, dee, 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 dee. So there's not literally no bloody oil in the car um, so we'll pull that back in top me up baby Should I have changed the oil, as in, like, got rid of what was already in there? I mean, there's so little left in there. Um, it seems kind of pointless, really. Um, okay. So we have repaired the starter. We have replaced the ignition wire, and we have done an oil. We've topped the oil up. Is that it? It's still not it. <laughs> oh, man, what is going on here? Um... Oil between no, new oil and it's gold and oil. Old one is black. I wonder if it was supposed to be an oil change. Um, let's take that off. I hate that. Oil filter 39. <laughs> 39 is not enough to make me worried that the car is not going to start. And it probably wouldn't have an impact on it anyway. Um, I can't take it to the test track because it won't start anyway. Um, or maybe it will, I don't know. Should we try? Car conditions are not allowed to perform a test drive, so... Let's just go back to our order again. See if there's any clues in here. I need to introduce I need it working before I can show it to my parents. It doesn't start, it doesn't start, so the ignition module is okay, the wires have been replaced, um, what's that, what's the pipe? starter is essentially brand new, so what, is, what am I missing here? Belt tensioner, idler pulley, water pump. Car starting is usually the result of the electrics, isn't it? If I'm, unless I'm missing something. A new battery isn't going to help. And anyway, that's got 50% in. It. So it's only half. It's only half down to its, um, you know, its, uh, its full power. So, what's this? Throttle, airflow tube, air filter, airflow meter. Oil has been changed. Solution 
guess I guess it's it's a bit of a taking a punt kind of situation now um, really so I'm gonna let all the oil out um, and replace it with completely clean oil um, and see if that's the issue um, because that oil is still a bit brown isn't it that we put into it um, so we've got to let this out Great shooting every time. So let all that out. Bit of a waste of oil. But there you go. We've been very wasteful in general in this uh, in this playthrough so far. So we get it down again. And do we need to put the cap back on? Presumably the cap's already gone back on. Um, Pouring oil straight through the engine onto the floor. Um, right, let's try again. Bang, 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 bang. Can you hear that? Dosh, 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 dosh. Right. Okay. So we have now changed the oil, right? So if we now look at the dipstick, it should be nice and clean, nice and gold, gold and colour, right, good. Has that done it? No. <laughs> oh man, oh, I don't know, I don't know, let's take some of this off. Um, Legit don't know. Um, I genuinely legit don't know. I mean, it, it's going to be something that, you know, our brief here isn't to make this car like new. You know, we're getting paid $300. So the idea is that we're doing, um, you know, we're doing a, a, a very sort of, uh, you know, sort of low quality job. You know, we, we, the idea is to, is to fix the problem with as little expenditure as possible, which we failed straight off the first, you know, kind of, um, <laughs> at first time of asking, we'd already failed that because um, we, um, we thought we'd repair the, uh, the starter, which it doesn't look like is actually even the problem. Um, it's not going to be the exhaust, is it? The car doesn't start. The car doesn't start. So... It's got to be something to do with the ignition. The ignition module's okay. So everything's in like reasonably bad nick, but we can't sit here and replace everything that's in a bad condition on the goddamn car. You know, it's like if like all these parts probably do need replacing, but it's not like you know we're getting paid three hundred dollars for doing this. The point is we're supposed to be doing this on a on a low budget point of view. You know. Do 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 do. What's the problem here? Forty percent on the ignition level. Cylinder head. Don't know, lads. Oh.
can only be, I guess, something in here. Spark plugs, you doofus. Oh, for pity's sake. Look at that, look. Spark plugs. Oh, my God. <laughs> what a dumbass. Oh, dear. Oh, God. I'll spend some more money. All right, one, two, three, four. Yes. A real eureka moment, lads. Or more of a, like, a kind of a kicking yourself in the face moment because you're so annoyed that you missed that. So, yeah, never mind. 7%. So, we have spent, like, loads of money um, here where we really didn't need to. Um, so we're going to be massively out of pocket for, uh, for having even done this job. Um, but the important thing is we figured it out, which is the point of the game. Um, so, sorry if you were sat uh, screaming at me. <laughs> you know, kind of. Um, what are you doing, you idiot? Check the spark plugs. The spark plugs are probably gone. <laughs> I told you, man, I don't know anything about cars, and I still maintain that to this day. If this was real life, I wouldn't have a Scooby. So, no parts to assemble. We've changed the oil, we've changed the start, and we've repaired it. We've changed the ignition module, and we changed the spark plugs. So, the moment of truth, has that fixed the problem? Yes. <laughs> so, we got there in the end. 26 minutes, happy days. I reckon I must have spent, what, 15 minutes on that alone? So, happy days. All right, guys, um, I'm going to leave it there. Um, thanks, as always, for watching. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you on the next video. Cheers.